<laughs> all right, all right. Let's let's touch on this one right here, here, here. You probably seen this before, right? This particular right here, right? And it's been alleged in social media, been circulated a lot in social media over the past maybe mm, two, maybe two, three years or so. It's been talked about among some of us, and I've heard one say, oh, look right here. This is, this is the Queen of England. The Queen of England and Prince Philip bowing to his and her majesties, to Kedamawi uh, Nugusa Neges, and to Itege Menin right here. You know, so this has been popularly circulated and even recirculated even as as a meme as a meme out in social media seeing that social media is kind of catching up with people's ability to um you know do their own memes we've seen a lot of different versions of this particular meme now they got this whole fact checker fact checker all right and we need our own Rastafari fact checker. Many of us are the Rastafari fact checker, but <laughs> this is a good one. And give thanks to I and I Wendem Wendeme I and I Ach Ach Shelly. He actually had um, shared this. He said he saw an interesting one right here. Um, you know the fact check pages. He saw an interesting one. This one right here about His Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie. The first, Hala Selassie, I, Katamai, Hala Selassie, and um, QE2, right? You saw this here about QHS and QE2, and he was wondering whether it's accurate or whether it's off. <laughs> and I have to say that this one right here that they basically have, um, I guess, pronounced, right, it as being false is, 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 is accurate. Some of us already knew from a while ago that likely right you can't really see the face of who it is when you see the fuller picture you know but it's likely that it's not um queen elizabeth the second or her her late um husband um prince philip in this particular scene here bowing to the king now there are other pictures right and we can actually show you some of it right here 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 so my brother he asked me about this just recently and you know we had a good <laughs> a good hey 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 you know what i mean um about this you know um because there's a disclaimer right you know people making all sorts of disclaimers and when you post it up there you know and it's interesting because they put out a lot of different things that were incorrect and there's no you know disclaimer or fact checking on that and so we have to get active but here 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 my first um you know response to this was let the children play let the let the children play okay what is this right here <laughs> what is this this post right that was saying that um the QE2 of England, Queen Elizabeth of England and her late husband, bowing to his and her Ethiopian majesty, his imperial majesty. Um, <laughs> no, it, the, the memes, the memes are just, you know, children, children, children of the babes, of the babes, the babies in Rastafari and others. You know, some some might really have believed it so. Those of us who have studied more kind of carefully, you know, we saw one page where um, some um, Anglophiles, the Anglophiles were really, you know, they had their, in a bunch, you know, their, their um, privies, their privies were up in a bunch. Oh, oh, you know, and they really went through doing a lot of, kind of CSI investigation oh oh this can't be because the Queen of England don't don't bow to, to nobody uh not really we, we got something to show you right here and you can see both of their faces right bowing and there's some questionable pictures right where we have to question is is this is this uh at least with with Prince Philip the late the late Prince Philip so this is accurate and brothers and sisters, I mean, what what is going on here, right? It's our own bit of psychological warfare, right, with the English clown crown, 
right? A little bit of psychological warfare, right? Now, there is another picture where you clearly see the late Prince Philip bowing his head. And even the queen, QE2, right? Slightly, right? Bowing to, you know, bowing to his imperial majesty or bowing to the bow. Her husband's bowing to Kedamawi Halaslas and Nugus Neges, the Ethiopia, the king of kings, right? And you see Queen um, Elizabeth II, QE2, as well, bowing her head. Now, we're going to show you that right here, but let's just have a little ha ha and a little hey hey. <laughs> a little ha ha and a little hey hey. You know, um, yeah, the photo fact checkers, the photo fact checkers, you know, from the angle, right? From a particular angle, it did very much look like QE2 and Prince Philip. Now, you know, like, like some of the brothers and, and ones and ones know that we who have privily discussed this, you know, I basically said, nah, it, it, I don't think so. You know, my ruling on it was, nah, I don't think so. Just being, you know, careful, attentive to certain details, right? But after all, it's, it's the children. You know, it's your children having a little bit of a ha-ha and hey-hey. Some, I think, already knew what we knew. Others looked at the picture, and you look at the picture, and it does look, you know, very, you know, looks a little bit like that, right? Right? This is... I, I call this one of the Rastafari psyops. This is Rastafari psyops against the British clown crown. Right? This is our own bit of little psyop, child children psyops right here. I'm saying to those who knew, right? Some of us had a very clear indication that it wasn't, but by the time, you know, we started to see all the memes all over the place and people started to do their own memes off of the other memes, I mean, what was there left? For us to really say, you know, like the proverbial, <laughs> the proverbial cat, right, had already gotten out of the bag. So here, what we're doing in this particular vlog right here is giving a little verification. Because I know others are saying, oh, no, it is the Queen of England and her husband, Prince Philip. It is the late Prince Philip bowing. No, no, the likelihood when you see the fuller picture likelihood is not when you compare with other pictures that are more verifiably you know um qe2 and the late um um prince philip right so here this is not that one right there what was this one could he be debunking a lot of stuff right here you know maybe debunking a lot of stuff right here right um the late prince philip bowing before the lion of the tribe of judah right but we know that 72 nations did bow and there was a representative on behalf of the um, British, so-called British crown, right, that went and, 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 and bowed, right? The Duke of, um, the Duke of Gloucester, said to be the Duke of Gloucester, right? Right there, right? So here, here, here. Now, who is that? Here's what I find to be very interesting. It seems like they say that this is not the queen of, QE2 and, and Prince Philip. And we, LOJ Society, we, our, our own intel, right? The line of Judah intel, our own intel is, is likely to agree with that particular assessment. We already had that assessment beforehand, but as we said, you know, this was our own bit, you know, of psychological warfare. It was interesting to see all the Anglophiles proverbially jump out the window. Oh, ooh, no! It, it, it can't be. How can it be? Right? How can it be? Right? As it was, so it will be. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Right? We're just going through a little interregnum right here, here, here. Right? So this is a little more of the fuller picture, but there's another picture that we had seen. We we're trying to find it here for the vlog. Couldn't quite find it here for the vlog. Where it's a, a, a little bit of fuller picture. Right. Um, but you can tell, like, even if we zoom in on this man right here, it's not quite like the side of the, his, the shape of his head right there. Speaking about the one who is bowing to the king of kings, Kedemawi Halasalasi, it's not quite the same as we know from more um, verifiable pictures of the late um, Prince Philip right here. 
it's kind of interesting right here when we look at Her Majesty, you know, her, her, her look upon whoever that particular woman is, right? We also had read and seen where some said that, well, one thing you notice is that the Queen QE2, she always has some, some headwear, mm -hmm. whether a tiara or some hat or something, she's always wearing something on her head. And if you notice a lot of the pictures, right, that we do have of um, QE2, right, she always does seem to be wearing some sort of headwear, even if it's a, a little tiara. Right? But it's interesting, this picture in itself, and also all the hoopla, right? all the hoopla that this particular picture right, had, had, had generated, especially among the, the Anglophiles, you know, those who are in love with the defenders of the British clown crown. You know, the, crown, the, the, the clown crown defenders, the UK clown crown defenders, oh, they went hump. They went Buckingham, they went New Hampshire, they went every ham, they went ham, 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 right? Ham, no salami and bacon on this to really disprove it. And now you see it all over the place. It's like, oh, the bung, oh, the bung, right? And some even say when they try to post it up on their, um, you know, IG, you know what I mean? It seemed as though this really, you know, was threatening to them to, to for, 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 why was this so threatening? Mm. Now that we got that out the way, right? right? Now that we got that out the way, and this is like we said, this is a verification for our people that yes, it is, it is not, right? This is not, this is not what it seems to be. Let's put it like that. This is not what it seems to be. It seems to be, basically it's some maybe noble lady and some noble sir, right? Some sir, some noble sir, and some noble lady bowing to the Ethiopian, Ethiopian Hebrew, the Ethiopian monarch, to the king of kings of Ethiopia, to the conquering line of the tribe of Judah and his consort. That's what's very clear. But let's go through some of the other exhibits right here, right? Go through some of these other exhibits right here. This is another, another, another view of it seems of that day. Another view of that particular day right here. So there's many ones that came forward, right? White people, black people, Asians, other nations. You know, 72 nations came. Right, November 2nd, 1930, the acceptable year of Yahweh, of Jehovah, right? And they bowed and all acknowledged, right? You know, the import of the coronation, the anointing, and the coronation of the Rastafari of King Ras Tafari Kedamawi Haile Selassie. But here, 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 here we have a woman right here. Right, I think this is in England or one of the European countries. She is a, maybe that's a curtsy. Is that, is that what they call it? A curtsy, right? She is bowing right here. Right, we can see this right here. Right, and His Majesty is quite pleased. Right, Gormawi Nagus Nagas is quite pleased. You see the cameras taking pictures. That means that there must be other pictures from the other angle. You know that right there? There must be some pictures from the other angle. Look, all those cameras there one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, about eight cameras we count in view of the camera that take, took this shot from this angle right here. Here, 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 you see this white man, whoever he was, right? <laughs> you know, bowing, you know, he's bowing right here to Gormawi Nagus Neges, to Kedamawi Halaslasi, to the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, to Moa Anbesa Zem Negeda Yehuda. He's bowing, he has a smile on his face, he's quite happy to do his duty, right? To do his duty, right? Right here, 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 we have this um, black man, perhaps an African, you know, African dignity of some sort, right? He's bowing right here. He's smiling, right? His majesty is smiling. Let's zoom in right here on this particular picture, right? 
no harm, no foul. He's doing what he should. He's doing his duty as well. Right? Here, here, here. Upon receiving a diploma degree, right, for such extraordinary education, you know, here in Ethiopia, the Minister of Education, Kadamawi Hala Selassie, Gotamawi Nagusa Neges, Gotamawi Nagusa Neges Tachin, right, is giving him his diploma and he bows as well, as is, as is right, right? And then right here, let's go on right here. Here we have three servants of the King of Kings, right? At at palace, you know, is a palace or you know, outside of court, but in the in the royal residence, one of the royal residents, the three of them are bowing fully prostrate. Now, what's interesting, right, since we're on the subject matter of bowing, <laughs> since we're here on the subject matter of bowing. Let's see if we can do this right here. Let's let's bring this up right here. And let us put in the search right here. Right, bow. And not not how. Let's back that up right there. Not how, but bow. And let's put David. Let's put David. Right? Right? Okay. Um his bow. No, here we go right here. In First Samuel, First Shemuel, First Samuel twenty forty one. In twenty forty one, right? In twenty forty one, it says, "And as soon as the lad was gone, Dawid, right, right, it says Dawid arose out of a place toward the south and fell on his face to the ground and bowed, right." himself three times now it's interesting you see when his majesty comes into the um holy place right he goes down and he bows right it seems like three times and they kiss one another and wept one with another until david exceeded right now the three times bow now this word bow is shaha shaha i want you to look at this word shaha right because ones talk about oh you know, you worship his majesty and, and worship nobody but God, right? But the word for worship, if you look it up, right? To bow before, right? To bow down, to prostrate oneself. There's a few senses of this in the Hebrew, hitpael sense, right? To bow down, to prostrate oneself, right? It can be before superior in homage, before God in worship. One can bow before false gods as people bow to the world flesh and the satanic decorum. Or one may bow before the angel, right? And here where you go into the Strong's definition, a primitive root to depress, that is to prostrate, especially reflexively in homage to royalty. Let, 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 let's hi highlight this right here, right? It says in homage to royalty or to God, right? And since we're speaking of the Davidic, since we're speaking of the Davidic ruler, right, the greater David, the greater son, it is just one doing their duty, right? But the word can also be used to bow down oneself, to crouch, to fall down, to fall down flat, flat, right? Get flat, get flat, to humbly beseech, to do obeisance, to do reverence, to make, to stoop, and right here, 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 to worship, right? Hebraically speaking, it's the very same word. Now here... We're going to this right here. Um, my bowed himself, right? And it says right here that this is Abigail. Let's take Abigail. Now, this is at the time when Dawid, when David was already anointed, but Saul, Shaul, right? Hamelech like Saul was still king in 1 Samuel 25 23. And when Abigail saw Dawid, when she saw David, she hastened. And lighted off the ass, the donkey that she was riding. And she fell before Dawid on her face. Right? She fell before David on her face and bowed. You see, it's the H7812 herself to the ground. It's the same word, shaha. Shaha. Right? Shaha. Right? Let's go over here. Right? And Bathsheba bowed with her face to the earth and did reverence to the king. Right now, notice right here. Here we have a different word. We have kadad, kadad. Now remember, Bathsheba here 
is the, well, she was the wife of Uriah, but she became the wife of Dawit, David's wife, um, Shlomo, Solomon's mother, right? Solomon's mother. So Bat Sheva, she bowed herself, but the word it used right here, with her face to the earth, it doesn't mean that she went down in the Shecha, the Shecha, which is also used for worship, but what she did was Kadad, Kadad. What is Kadad? Kadad means to bow down, but Kadad, Strong's bringing out right here, it means to bend the body or to bend the neck. Like when one's bend the body or bend the neck, like bend the body, a slight bow, right? Or bend the neck, like one put down their head, right? Like they put down their head, to bow down the head. You see where it says to bow down the head or to stoop. So we see different forms of bowing, right, in deference, right? And remember what the definition said, to royalty, right, to royalty or to God, right? And the chosen, the chosen, the chosen um, ruler, right, the Davidic ruler, right, rules, right, you say in place of or as God, on behalf of God, the earth's rightful ruler. So here we have even Dawid himself, right? We have David himself, more of the king's servant came to bless our Lord, Adonai, right? Dawid HaMelech, David the king, saying, God, Elohim, make thee, make the name of Shlomo, of Solomon, better than thy name, than Shemekah, and make his throne greater than thy throne. And what did the king do? And the king bowed himself, up on the bed. So this is here speaking of Dawid. Dawid bowed himself. Did he bow himself? He bowed himself in the sense of he worshipped. He worshipped. The same word is the very same word, the H78 and 12. Right? So let's go to First Chronicles, First Chronicles 21, 21. And David came to Ornan. Here's where we have an Oromo connection, but we'll get into that hopefully another time. Ornan looked and saw Dawid and went out on the of the threshing floor, right? Ornan, right? Went out of, and bowed himself to David. So Ornan Shacha, right? He bowed himself to Dawid, right? Bowed himself. Bring it down right here. He prostrated himself, right? He 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 couched, he fell down, fell down flat, he did obeisance. So in some places of the Bible you'll find it translated as one of these some places humbly beseech some places obeisance make obeisance do obeisance do reverence make to stoop and in the areas of the scripture like the psalms and other we could say like like we say prayer and praise areas is brought out by the translator as worship so when one say oh you worship right Right? Now you notice right here, bow their heads. You see what it says, bow their heads? That's the same word, kadad. So kadad is like a neck, a neck bow. Right? Kadad is a neck bow, as you see right here in Second Chronicles 29 and 30. Right? Let's look at one more area right here before we just go on with our quick exhibit. O, B, C, right? O, B, C, N. Is it O, B, C, N? Obeisance. There we go, right there. Right? Obeisance. And you'll see obeisance many places. They bowed down. Notice Genesis 43 and 28. And they answered, Thy father, thy servant, our father, is in good health. He is yet alive. This is when the brothers of Yosef came to Haish, the man, right, who they took as a Kemitic, a Mitzri, a Egyptian, who actually was Joseph. Safnat Paank, Paank, Paniach, Paniach, but that the word actually is Ank there, right? Paneach, right? And they bowed their heads. They what? They Kadad, they bowed their heads and they made obeisance. So both, so we have one or the other, and we have to bow the head and then to fall flat, right? To get flat, which is also to worship. Right? And Moses, Moshe, he went out to meet his father in law and he did shaha, shaha. He, 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 he bowed, made obeisance. In a sense, you know, he worshiped, but not worshiped in the, this Western Gentile, Was, Anglo Saxon, you know, um, 
not in that sense right and when he came to david here in second samuel 1 and 2 and he came to david that he fell on the earth and he did what right he did obeisance right he did shaha hishtahavu hishtahavu right so you can see it throughout right here either it's translated on the one word or the next but this is why the strong's you know concordance words is very very important right right and it says and she bowed now here notice this right here getting back to Bathsheba Bathsheba both bowed Gadad I said before she didn't do what but notice what it said they uses the word obeisance and she did obeisance so she bowed her head Bathsheba she bowed her head to her husband King David right and she prostrated she fell flat she went down on the ground right and did obeisance to the king and the king said what wouldest what wouldest thou right what wouldest thou just to bring this up right here so you can see it's in connection with Dawi right right um with with with, with David right so once again just to point that out because a lot of ones get confused from the Western Gentile right misunderstanding so here we can see this very clearly here these ones are doing the shaha shaha right bow the head like first you bow the head right and then one fall down get flat right now this is also another one right here this is not Queen Elizabeth let me point this out right here this is I think is a Spanish princess I think so but it's not Queen Elizabeth that is that this is not Queen Elizabeth but we've seen some memes out there so let's do our own fact checking Rastafari that it's not Queen Elizabeth there right this is um, QE2 right here right and this is QHS Katamawi Hala Selassie right this is QE2 right and this is Katamawi Hala Selassie right um, like date night right okay so here 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 let's go through this right here this is QHS Right, and this is QE2. There in the background, you see is Prince Philip. Right, Prince Philip. We're going to show you Prince Philip doing the Gadad, bowing, right, where he's bowing, the bowing of the head. So, bowing could be in two senses one, to bow the head, and also like to, to bend, you know, to bend slightly, right, more or less. And then we have the Shaha. Shaha is to fall down like to prostrate, to fall on one's face. Notice right here the Ethiopian star of David right there, right? Just to note that right there. Let's go on right here, right? This is QE, right? This is QE2 in Ethiopia. Now here you see both the Prince Philip, mm -hmm. Prince Philip, he bows his head right here. You see Prince Philip bowing his head? Kadad. Kadad. He bows his head. You also see in the center, you see QE2 bowing her head. Just like we show you Bathsheba. We show you Bathsheba. She, Kadad, she bowed her head. And then it says she did obeisance, Shaha. Shaha. Right? She did obeisance. Right? So right there, this is the same, this is the same scene right here. Right, the same scene right here, and this is a, a fuller picture right here. Right, you can see the fuller picture a little bit clearer right here. You can see both of them. The only one who is not bowing here is Kedamawi Hala Selassie, is QHS. You see QE2 bowing her head. You see Prince Philip, he is bowing his head, and also if we zoom out, you can see his back is bent and that's the Kadad that's the Kadad sense of bowing that we already showed you right here that's from that same scene right there right this is perhaps the same scene like you notice here that she always does have some sort of a tiara some maybe a hat or something on like a kind of maybe a symbolic sort of crown that woman in the picture with the man who is bowing to his imperial majesty and the Tege Menin and Empress Menon, you do not see that on her head, right? And it doesn't, the body type of both of them is not quite the same 
as there's many pictures that we can't compare. So that particular fact check, right, is correct. But we do see both of them bowing to his majesty. You see both of them bowing in the sense of the kadat, which can mean to bend the neck, right, in deference, right, and also to bend the neck and or to bend the back as well, right? And here I think this is when His Majesty had given QE to a, a horse or something like that, right? And this is riding into a Buckingham Palace, right? We notice right here His Majesty is very dark in this picture. This is also an interesting picture, right? <laughs> very much so. Right, I note that because ones look at some pictures where it appears that he might be lighter or more like jasper, as it says, the, the color of God, that jasper in complexion, like the stone and everything. Here we can see very much more dark. I think some say this is the Duke of Gloucester. Is that him? Right now, here you also see what well, you see, you see uh, Winston Churchill also doing deference, right? Winston Churchill. Here you see this particular individual bowing, right? The Kadad, bowing the head and bending the back, right? To Kedamawi Halas Lassi, to the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, to the king of kings, right? Here you see right here, this is not a full bow, but you can, you know, pictures tell you a lot and a lot of this is, is royal protocol honorific right gestures gestures of honor here is a very clear picture where you can see him fully bowing right you can see him fully bending the head so much so that his imperial man said john hoy can look in the top of on the top of his his ball spot like look like right down into his head right and then here you can see a clearer picture just in case that wasn't clear enough for you Right, and we know that he is the what the prime minister, he was the illustrious prime minister, right, during the so called golden years, so to speak, of, of the British um, monarchy around the time of the war and, and thereafter. You can see he's bowing to the king of kings, showing due deference, right, respectfully speaking. This is the same scene, his majesty raising the right hand. Right, he raised his right hand. Right, and yeah, okay, that's the Mussolini. Yeah, this was a little funny, crazy little picture. This is not an actual picture, it's kind of rare right there. But let's move on. All right, so I think we oh, this goes with that other picture right there where you can see very clearly in case you thought the other picture was a mistake. Because one would say, oh, His Majesty is not even black. He, look how uh, they're on the colorism. They're on another ism, colorism. Well, here you can see this picture right here. It kind of shows as dark as the man. You know, other, other Ethiopians there, you can see the very same complexion. You can compare it with the European, right? So-called white man's complexion or French. I think they're French right there as well. You can see this one right here is bowing. Right, Matt has a straight back, holding up his head with the crown on it, and this man is bowing, right, doing due deference, right, and I think we are just about done right here, right, with our presentations, right, the examples, right, the examples right here. Weep not, behold, the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the book. And to loose the seven seals thereof. Any further questions or comments, check out the description. The links are in the description. Shalom Chavarim. Shalom. Salam to Tenayestalin. Wendemoch. Hitoch. And Natoch.